instead. Well, again, another great chase from the Scottish. Seventh on the wrong way. Holding on. Not releasing. I think it was Dewey. Straight on the ball. Mauro Bergamesco was the Italian player penalised. Plays his rugby with his brother. Miarco Bergamesco at Stade Francais. There it is there. He's got to try to... Well, it's pretty tough ask getting him to release that. One thing is for sure and certain, the Scots have not come here for second prize. Well, no, they've definitely cranked it up with you, haven't, haven't they? This is an urgency that Scotland, that well, we haven't even seen remotely this type of urgency from them. Well, I'll be surprised if the atmosphere at Murrayfield last week against the All Blacks was as good for the Scots as it is here right now on the boot of Chris Patterson. Patterson... Two from two, six nil the Scots. Against Romania and Portugal, they didn't have to take a penalty kick. Against New Zealand, they never had the chance. But Scotland, two in the first five and a half minutes of this game. And a mistake oh. from Italy. They haven't played fantastic rugby in this tournament. And another mistake for the Scots to capitalise on. Restarts absolutely crucial, particularly well, they're crucial anyway, but particularly with conditions like this. Just come across. You're getting the whole point of the kick, of kick off and receiving the kickoff is you get the ball inside your own half, so you need to set a really good platform to enable you to then get out, get out of your own half. The Italians there, a very simple mistake. The Scottish now have a centre field scrum in a great position. So the two packs come together right on the halfway line and some fireworks. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. Let's go. Let's go. Chamok. So Salvatore Perugini and Owen Murray. Oi, oi, oi. Just come here. Oh, and Murray's... I don't want talking between the teams, yeah. OK? You speak to number three. Contact Nothing. lens. OK. I will decide. This scrum battle will be interesting. Two big packs. Perugini, Festia, Castro, Giovanni, Kerr, Ford, Murray... ...of the Scots. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Find up. So Jonathan Kaplan gets a better scrum there. Pressure from the Italians. The pass from Blair to Parks. The kick back across the face. Still bouncing. Stays in the field of play. Kane Robertson has a job to do. Simon Webster rounds him into touch. Judah playing smart footy. I guess we mentioned it. Kind of there's a joke in a way in terms of this, you know this is really Scottish weather. But they do feel at home playing in these conditions. One man. It's like second nature to them. A really smart tactical kicking game with, with a really good kick chase. So the Scots with the territory, but the Italians with the possession. And Alessandro Tronkin slipped. Play on. The ball back inside. Did Bergamasco make the tackle on the man without the ball? It appears so. He certainly did, and I'll tell you what, that must be close to a penalty try. Tack off that. Yeah. Love to see that again. Seven. Well, let's listen to the lecture that Jonathan Seven. Kaplan is about to deliver to Mr. Bergamesco. Yep. Yeah, yeah fair a potential try. Well, Ben Tune called it. Jonathan Kaplan delivered it, the yellow card. Bergamesco may shake his head. So the Scots have it on the scoreboard, an early advantage. Step, step hold. Certainly a wonderful opportunity from this line-out. Ross Ford from the Glasgow Warriors. I've seen some rain in Glasgow. It's raining here in France. The Scots driven back by the Italians. Oh, great work there, great strength from Sergio Parise for Italy. Fantastic defensive line-out from the Italians. The Scottish, I, I assume, with the Italians being a man down in the forward pack, were pretty keen on pulling that down and driving it. Well, the Italians had something to say about that. 
they get the ball back. So a vital line out here for Italy. He's soaking up the pressure, and that man again, Parise, made the tackle, affects the catch. The ball has gone out, so not quite capitalise on the good work there, the Azzurri. Six breakdowns so far in this match, six turnovers. Not quite the Azzurri tonight, I guess. The blue shorts indicate as such, but because Scotland and Italy both play predominantly in blue jerseys, the Italians wear the away strip. Great work in the line out there from Hines. The Wagga Wagga boy flew high, but uh, in the end, Italy received the penalty. We've seen a bit of that, haven't we, so far? I mean, the there's a real fine line there. I mean, the, the Scottish will come away from that line out thinking they did absolutely everything right. But the technicality of the rule means that they get pinged for an accidental offside. That is a boomer. That is an absolute boomer off the boot of the Italian. I think it was Bordalusi, the big left boot of the fullback. Just seen it in push. action before. Bergamesco. Still shakes his head. So the ball won well there from Delape in Italy. And Troncon gets a little bit of backline action going on for long. Ramiro Pes. Comes down, Lamont knocks it forward. Advantage Italy. Knock on, knock back. Stop. So this scrum to pack down midfield. 24 metres out, the perfect opportunity for the Italians to get something going. Both sides. Absolutely, here's Le Mans. Got up early enough. Misjudged it a bit in terms of where, is, yeah, where to place the hands. Well, that was the incident earlier. For Bergamasco. Earned himself 10 minutes in the sin bin for taking the man without the ball, which in my book would have been a certain try. Just ordered a bowl of spaghetti on his way off the field there as well for later on. So Jonathan Kaplan, South African referee. Time on. That's Hangs down another scrub. Gets the clock running. Crouch. Touch, pause, and go. Find up, find Seems up. for the moment at least that the rain has eased. Let's go again. Same ball. We well, hinted at it before, Rupert, but this is perfect okay. attacking ball for the Italians. Let me sort that out. Centre field scrum. Good platform. We can attack, obviously, both Touch, sides of the scrum. With the, per with the right type of scrum in terms of which way we can wheel it. We can get an advantage in terms of the number of men. Here we go. Parise found Borzalusi with the Italians. Knock on, knock back. Scrum. The Italians couldn't control it, but the first knockdown coming from Scotland. So once again, Italy with the scrub feed. Square, please. Keith Wood, the famous such Irish hooker, find up, described find this as the muscle sandwich. There's plenty of muscle involved there. It disintegrates, but not before Clarisse. Takes it forward. Tronk on. Pess. Little kick through. Not a little kick. That's a big kick. And the referee's over as well. Play on. This could be Italy. A metre out. Tronk on sends it to the right. Goes himself. Alessandro Tronk on. And Jonathan Kaplan recovers as well to score the try. Alessandro Tronk on in his 101st test. We saw the tactic only a few minutes ago by the Italians. The high ball up to Le Mans. He dropped the first one. This one was under a lot of pressure, but still couldn't take it. How, did, how well did Miyako Bergamesco do then? Ran into the referee, maintained his momentum. Kaplan did just as well to get, regather his feet. Confirmed that the try was actually scored by Tronkon. 
So the great veteran played four Rugby World Cups for the Italian scores the try. And Ramiro Lopez puts the Italians in front. It's game on in more ways than one here. The Italians recover after a fumble for the restart. Oh, it's great work. Kane Robinson beat about 36. Perisay down the sideline. Sarazol Perisay. Oh, good tackle. Mike Blair. But Italy ultimately received a penalty. First down. Kane Robinson, great skills on the winger. Great attacking way from the Italians. Not afraid, and the opportunity presents itself despite the conditions to have a dig. Oh. Kaplan had blown his whistle there before. Brave tackle from Mike Blair. So this line out, the Scots defeat Simon Taylor. Does well for his side. Ross Ford drives it in the direction Italy want to take this one and off the boot of Dan Parks. It's high and we'll see a little bit of that tonight. Border Lucy from the safety of his 22 finds a brilliant touch. Well, Lamont, I think it is. So Dan Parks pleading with the touch the touch he thought the ball went out on the floor step, step. well i thought the border lucy was in his 22 anyway so maybe that's where dan parks went wrong it's touch and go either way but read about it tomorrow scotland find jim hamilton in the line out the big leicester tigers second row up. presents the ball well for blair the bagpipes play Lara Scotland is the tune and the touchy raises his flag. The Italians, pretty fine effort to score a try with 14 men. But that is a significant point. Osberg and Mesco ponded from the sideline. He's right. the side scores the try. So Fescha. Finds Parise in the line out. Alessandro Tronca pushes his men forward. The pride of Italy. Advantage to them. Parise has had a wonderful game up to this point. And the three. So Jonathan Kaplan from the drama of that Canadian Japanese clash on Tuesday night which went down to the wire, finds himself once again in the middle of the drama. Rugby World Cup 2007. The penalty there for Owen Murray coming in from the side. So David Bortolucci, it is who has the kicking boots on for Italy tonight. A la Jay Wilkinson. The pendulum about to swing. Bortolucci. Swings it through the sticks. Six, the Italians lead, and Parise did a juggling act before being driven Hold back it. by the Scottish defence. So Jonathan Gatlin was happy to let that play, and I think what was that, huh? Scotland almost uh, gave themselves away. They stopped. Yeah, they did, and Kaplan said the ball was out, so if they continued on with it, they may have ended up with the ball. What do they always say to you, Tuning, from way back? Way the whistle. That's, right. That's exactly right. Schoolboy errors creeping in. As uh, Milano Bergamesco, a proud favourite, returns to the fray for Italy. I wonder whether or not he should have stayed off. His team is doing so well. 
with him not on the field. Once again, that trumpeter from Nod to San Etienne. Bergamasco gets involved. The Scots have it though, and big Jim Hamilton cradles the ball, protects it for his halfback. No, 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 no. 